brought to you by Spartan Hands. Get 10% off on your order total. Link and code in the description below. I'm currently outside, uh, just outside my house, and uh, we're waiting for we're waiting for our uh, our quarantine pass to be given. So I'm gonna take this time to do this entry. All right. Now, Roberto Blake and I were. Um, we're discussing about the novel Animal Farm right, on Twitter. I never thought he would he would reply to that. He would um, he would re he would reply to that tweet of mine. But we eventually discussed it. Now takes me back to takes me back to my senior year in high school when we first discussed that novel by George Orwell. All right, we had a um, very liberal-minded English teacher at the time, so. Yeah, pinag-usapan namin yung nobelang yun, Animal Farm, okay? For the current generation, Animal Farm, well, basically, it's George Orwell's metaphor of political corruption, right? It's, um, the setting is a farm, and the characters are animals, okay? Now, there are, there's a movie adaptation, and there's an animated film about it. <clears throat> so I strongly suggest you you research those two adaptations of the novel and watch it. Okay? But I strongly suggest you watch the live action movie. Right? It's it's a graphic, okay? It's it's a graphic representation of how much power corrupts, okay? That's basically the the premise of Animal Farm. Okay? <clears throat> a leader steps up then suddenly gets corrupt then as time goes by gets corrupted by the system right that's what animal farm is about now going back to high school what I learned from that uh, from that classic by George Orwell is well don't be uh, if someone if you step up as a leader don't, well, basically don't betray the trust of the people who put you there. Of the people who allowed you to put you there. Who, who allowed you to be there. Okay? Leadership is not just a, it's not either a right nor a privilege. Okay? It is a sign of public trust. You betray that trust. Don't expect to well, don't expect to be glued onto your seat for too long. That's what I learned from Animal Farm. Right now, if you're a um, if you're a home entrepreneur, it's simple. You are the leader of your business, and your followers are your customers. You have a so you have a social media following; they are your followers. Okay? You're the leader of your social account. If you corrupt that trust, right? If you betray that trust just for one bit, it'll soon be gone. It'll soon be gone, right? If I were you, <clears throat> I would grab. Uh, if you still, I think there's, a, I think there's, uh, I think there's still available copies online of George Orwell's Animal Farm, I strongly suggest you read it, okay? If you can't find, um, if you can't, uh, if you can't look for the animated film or the live action movie online, you might as well, you might as well buy that book. You're going to learn a lot when it comes to politics and corruption. Learn the lessons from it, all right? Must read, all right? Must read. Roberto Blake, Thank you for the content idea again, man. You're the best. I'm currently passing the time uh, in this uh, Luzon lockdown doing this. See that, guys? It's a, uh, it's a script I'm working on for my next uh, reality check video. 
Well, sometimes you have to, um, you have to, what you call this, diversify your reach. You have to uh, make use of whatever time you have to, well, say something to those people who, who just really don't want to listen, just really don't want to listen, all right? Um, it's almost done. Uh, nakita niya naman. It's almost done, and I'll I'll have to do a voiceover again and make some B rolls for the video. And um, if I'm inspired enough, I might I might do another one. All right. As long as I can do my part in this uh, in this medical crisis, right? Medical officials and government officials are are asking every Filipino in Luzon to stay at home, right? Unless necessary. So, ngayon yeah, lalabas ka lang, bibili ka ng pagkain o gamot, or you need something. Uh, you you need to make a run at the bank. Okay. Now. Uh, banks are all banks kasi are also required to stay open and money remittance uh, agents okay this is my part in in the crisis okay uh, I'm abiding I'm abiding by the quarantine rules and well almost everybody's doing their part actually especially the uh, the medical workers again Salute you all. Crisis or no crisis. So, yeah, this is my part. Okay? I am doing my part in uh, in this lockdown, in this uh, in this COVID nineteen crisis. So, well, I hope I I'll, I hope I can finish the entire video. So, so if I get this done, sigurado, uh, I'll be doing the audio file. So, yeah. If you're on lockdown, do your part. I've been... Oh, what's this? Okay. <clears throat> As I was saying, um, I just saw another replay of Itbulaga, Bawal Judgmental, and ni replay nila yung episode kung saan eh... Ano ito? There's a guy named Dexter. Na, and lahat ng mga na lahat ng mga girls na i-judge ni Maricel Soriano who was the contestant eh naging ex niya isa doon ang current niya okay it was wild okay it's probably one of Ipulaga's wildest episodes okay nag walk out pa nga eh yung current kasi doon niya nalaman na na may, pinagsab may pinagsabay na may pinagsabay ang si Dexter sa kanya. Isang girl. Okay, pinagsabay sila ni Dexter. Yung current at saka yung isa. Doon siya nag-walk out. Doon lang kasi doon lang niya nalaman na na yun pala. Na tinutime na tinutime pala siya ng ni Dexter. <clears throat> you know what? As a uh, as a guy there's a, there's a big lesson to be learned here, okay. I don't know why uh, why other guys would uh, do that, collect and select thing. Ako, di ako agree dyan. right? Di ako agree dyan. Now I'm not saying uh, I'm not saying I'm a gentleman, pero it's illogical, okay? It's an illogical way of. Um, uh, showing how much of a man you are, how much of an alpha male you are, okay? Now, for me, uh, for me, um, love is not a collect and select thing, okay? Di mo may enjoy yung pagkabinata mo eh. <laughs> pag, 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 pinagsasabay mo yung mga babae, di mo may enjoy. Nasabi ko sa'yo, you won't be you won't be enjoying your single life uh, that easily 
sakit sa ulo pa nga yun eh. Bila mo, dalawang babae, pag pinagsabay, yan, pinagsabay mo. Alright. <coughs> so, yun nga. Um, for me, the best way to to enjoy your single life, your guy, is to take, uh, is to have one relationship at a time. Okay? My number one reason is this. You don't let other people run your life. Kasi pa isa ka If you um, get into multiple relationships, more, more than one, eventually, those uh, girls you're going to have a you're going to have a relationship with will make the decisions for you okay those girls will make the decision for you not you okay those girls will run your life ngayon kung <clears throat> pa isa isa ka kung makipagrelasyon it means that well you don't let other people run your life or control your life You are your own man. Okay, if you're a guy, you are your own man. If you uh, if you get into relationships that way, yung paisa-isa. Right? Kahit sa panliligaw. Okay? Even when you uh, uh, even when you court a girl, paisa-isa ka. Hindi yung sabay-sabay. That's that's what I call that's what uh, some people call collect and select. You know, collect and select. Okay. Sakit sa ulo na talaga eh. Okay. It's one of the most, um, getting into multiple relationships is one of the most stressful things a guy can get into. Tatanda ka lang lalo. Alright. Tatanda ka lang lalo. So guys, in this time of crisis, okay, learn a lesson. Okay, learn this lesson from one man from one man to another. If you want to enjoy your single life, don't get into multiple relationships. Right? Take it one relationship at a time. Because you don't let people run your life. You don't let other people run your life. I'm uh, halfway through my laundry, right? I'm halfway through my laundry, and uh, I just took a gander at my dog. Who's sleeping right now? He does his usual thing while I do the laundry, right? He usually sleeps through the whole thing. Now, um, as I was, uh, as I was observing him. I um, COVID-19 popped out of my mind again. All right. You know what? This is um, I think this is the thing pets are uh, are for, right? Especially when you're on when you're on lockdown, you can't uh, you can't go out of the house all the time, all right? It pays to have a pet. It pays to have a pet, right? Number one reason, they keep your sanity intact, especially in times like this. Okay. <clears throat> I'm glad we've uh, we. Uh, I'm glad we have a pet because right now, to, to tell you honest, to tell you honestly, we actually don't feel uh, we we actually don't feel the lockdown unless we go out of the house. Okay, unless we go out of the house. Doon ang namin mararamdaman. Yeah, number two reason is probably, well, of course, they keep you company. Like now. <laughs> I'm all alone in the, uh, I'm all alone in the laundry room. So, except for, except for him, right? He's my companion here. Uh, yeah, but, but he does his usual thing. <laughs> He'll just sleep. Okay. And probably the third thing, probably the third reason is um, yeah, it keeps you uh, pets keep you inside the house, right? 
giving you a reason to um, to do something giving you a reason to do something inside your home of course you you got a pet you got to take you have a pet you got to take care of it right give it attention give it love because that's all they ask for right? that is all they ask for right so in these times of uh, in a medical crisis like this it pays to have a pet um i had a little health scare again this morning 5 45 a.m i think i woke up the only way to stop it was to was to shut was to shut my eyes then it, it slowly stopped um two years ago same thing happened it was on a summer's day March din yun eh. Dali lang ha. So, I had to, uh, well, make this room well ventilated because of what happened. And, um, wow. I was fucking scared. I was fucking scared. Um, <clears throat> kasi at that same time, uh, after the disease, like it well, eventually, after the disease, the disease, the the disease spell stopped. It stopped repeating. Uh, two weeks later, I started having headaches. Tuwing nagbabasa ako. Then eventually, I had my eyes checked. Oh, yun na. I needed this na. So, for the first time, nagkagrado ang mata ko. Okay, I was. How old was I then? 45? Okay. So, uh, I'm mid -fort mid 40s na ako nun, kaya in-expect na ng, ng eye doctor ko nun na magkakaroon na ako, na magkakagrado na ako. But, uh, fortunately, for reading lang, for reading lang, eh, yun nga, the headache stopped, the migraine stopped, and, um, fast forward to uh, to a few hours ago, yun. every time na babangon ako, mahihilo na ako. So, the only, my only way out of it was to shut my eyes. Yeah, the only way out of it was to, was to slam my eyes shut. Yung talaga nakagana. As in, yung parang, uh, like you're, like you're taking a bath and you're going to shampoo your hair, syempre. You have to, you have to close your eyes really tight para hindi pumasok yung shampoo. Ganun. Ganun ka, ganun ka ipit. Just to make the, make the, uh, make the dizzy spell stop. Eh, it does stop. Pero eventually, pero right now, occasionally nag ano ko, pag tumutungo ako ganun. Uh, medyo, may, may konting hilo. So, the solution I found was to wear my glasses like this. Halfway. Okay. Uh, it helps. It helps. So, yun nga, I'm deducing na baka nagbabago ng grado ng mata ko. Okay. A consequence of, well, this one is, well, you, you're, you're looking at your, you're looking at your gadgets too often. Okay, yun nga, as of the recent, as of, as in recent years, uh, you know what it is. <laughs> you know what it is. But but I don't have screen dependency syndrome. Okay, I don't have it. <clears throat> I can actually uh, I can actually go on without my laptop and and my phone for hours. Right. Sa pag gusto ko ng matulog, talaga matutulog ako. I don't I don't force the issue and stay awake. Okay. Well now um. <clears throat> I can't have my eyes checked right now because of the lockdown. Okay. Wala kami matawagang, hindi namin matawagan yung eye doctor namin. Uh, but we'll, pero sisikapin namin na makatawag sa, sa Pedro Doctor's Hospital where he holds a clinic. He's actually, he's actually my former, uh, what you call this? 
my former rheumatology professor in college. Okay? He was my former uh, professor in college. Nag-switch siya ng nag-switch siya ng specialization to ophthalmology. When our old uh, eye doctor uh, what's called this? When a when a wall shampoo malit. Okay. He gave me my first uh, he gave me his first assessment of me in December. Uh, I should take I should take though a perimetry test. Pero at that point, wala pa raw hindi pa raw nagbabago grado ko. So, all in good. <clears throat> I'm taking care of my eyes really well up to up to that point. Pero I'm uh I'm slowly realizing now, uh, based on what happened kanina, and this, uh, the hours leading to this live stream, na, yun nga, baka nga nagpapalit na ang grado ko. Kasi ganun yung, ano eh, ganun yung cycle eh. Started out as dizzying spells, then after two weeks may migraine ako. Pero, at that time, wala pa akong, ano, uh, hindi pa ako diagnosed na dapat mag ganito na. So, no migraines. But the dizzying spells is uh, dizzying spells are back again. They're back, so they're telling me na baka nagpapalit ang grado ko. And uh, I think, siguro the weather, kasi itong curtain ko uh, binababa ko tuwing gabi. Siguro na yan na inita nako. I got I got really scared. I got really scared kanina. It's okay to spread the news about COVID-19 or the corona the coronavirus. It's also okay to show yourself what what you're doing at home. But if you over exaggerate things, mm, you may be spreading fake news. Fake news is an absolute no-no. Remember that. Always been, always will be. So stop spreading fake news in this time of crisis. Utang na loob. Stop it. Uh, Another senator has been tested so for COVID-19. Positive siya. God damn it naman. Oh. Pagalagala pa kasi. Nagpa-test ka for COVID-19. Sana, nagpa-quarantine na kayo agad. SOP yun, di ba? Hay nako! When you're being tested, okay, when you're being tested for COVID-19, you should already quarantine yourself. Eh, politiko eh. Gusto ba kaya dubilo pa sa mga tao? Come on, gentlemen! Stop the politics for a while! We are in a crisis! I've uh, I've been two hours removed from uh, doing grocery shopping, and um, medyo mahirap ngayon kasi <clears throat> because of the Luzon lockdown, hindi ganong kadali ngayon makakaol ng uh, grocery items, especially bread, right? My uh, my mom and sis are well, they're still into bread. Ako, I can. I can I can live without bread and rice, all right? As you all know, I can live without both of them. Um, there was uh, there was this uh, what's called this? Major Maid that na Major Maid who was uh, in front of was in front of the line. I asked her uh, how she got those two two loaves of. Uh, Two loaves of bread, yung Amer yung American bread. Ah, nakakuha na sila before, magaro sila don. So okay, so I fully understood na talagang na unahan lang ako. Okay, so all right, it's starting, it's it's starting to me. But a few um, maybe a few moments later, um. The old, the old woman's companion approached me with, uh, with one loaf, one full loaf. Bidigay sa akin. 
I, I said thank you. <laughs> I said thank you. Uh, um, I had my sister with me. Sa, sa grocery kanina. So yeah, ang laking pasasalamat ko kasi I don't have to... It meant, uh, well, it meant only one thing to me. I don't, I, I am no longer requiring myself to go to 7-Eleven to look for bread. Okay. So, I didn't go there anymore. I, we went about our business after. I thanked her. I thanked the old woman the, sec, the sec, second time. Right. So, no problem, Samia Sabi. That goes to show you that the Bayanian spirit is still alive. Alright. Makes me proud right now to be a Filipino. <laughs> Despite having a crisis like this, there are still there's still good people out there who are willing to lend a hand, right? Because that old woman actually had, uh, I think, two carts full of grocery items. All right, but in the end, hindi naman siya, hindi naman yung tipong ano? Hindi naman siya yung tipong hoarder. Kasi, different items naman eh. Kung meron magkapareho, dalawa lang. Okay. Kung may magkapareho, dalawa lang. So, you could, you could consider that hoarding. Or even panic buying. Uh, for me, she was just stocking up. And siguro, meron pa siyang... Meron pa siyang tinapay sa bahay. So, she figured, I might as well give this other love to this guy. Na may kasamang special chad. May kasama special chad. Kamas kailangan nila. Uh, we didn't... Me and my sister did not... Um, did not shop... Shop full blast. We only had a basket. We only had a basket. So, yun. Makes me... Makes me proud... Again, to be a Filipino. Because the Bayanian spirit is still alive. And to come at a time like this. Right? COVID-19... The Luzon lockdown, everything is, uh, what you call this? Uh, everywhere you go, there are long lines from grocery stores to banks to even remittance centers. Pati remittance center, pinipilahan ngayon. Even convenience stores at a time. So, yeah. Again, to that old woman who gave me that loaf of bread, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. You made my, um, you made my run a lot easier. You made our, you made our run, you made our, yeah, you made my errand a lot easier. Thank you so much.